Can you please explain the difference between a 504 and an IEP? Junk program. Oh, did you want a longer answer? So a 504 is a civil rights law. It came into play before special education. It wasn't intended to capture children that had an educational need. A 504 is a civil rights law that simply says a student or a human on the planet, actually it goes from womb to tomb, um, if you have a disability, you can't be discriminated against based on the characteristics of your disability. So as that relates to public school, that would mean you're allowed to have accommodations, right? Um, a 504 is great um, if you just need accommodations. Now let's think about that. Most accommodations in a 504 are just good teaching, and the teacher's going to do it anyway. A teacher's not going to say, oh, I'm so sorry, Billy, you don't have a 504. I'm not going to check for understanding. And parents are so excited about the 504 they got. They gave me a 504. They, they didn't. They didn't give you a 504. It's a legal requirement. Now, an IEP, an Individualized Education Program, under the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, it's a federal act that is funded and has ODR, obligations, duties, and responsibilities from school-based members to deliver a plan that enables your child to make progress in light of their unique circumstances. And it sets them up for gainful employment, independent living, and further education. So in 27 years, I can count on less than one hand kiddos that a 504 was appropriate. So I have kiddos on an IEP that are diabetic, that have dysautonomia, that have epilepsy, that have autism, that have cancer, that are terminal, that have a specific learning disability. They have an educational need and they need an educational plan. And just because you've never heard of it doesn't mean that they are not due and deserve an educational plan. So a 504, if you have a 504, I'm going to assume, because I'm an assumer, that your school district has already done full testing for special education because in a 504, we, we flew right past Child Find. Child Find says that we, we test children with suspected disabilities who may be in need of special education and related services. But if you have a 504, you don't have a suspected disability. You have an identified disability. So parents very sadly find out in the later years that their child could have had a special education program. But somebody told them stuff like this. <gasps> Ooh, oh, I mean, you, I mean, you don't want that, do you? I mean, you don't want your kid to be in special ed with, you know, those kids. I mean, that that's going to go on their record. Ain't no record, Muffin. Nobody has a record. No adults walking around going, I had an IEP. So we have to tell parents the truth and give them an opportunity to make an informed decision about that which would be most appropriate for their child with a disability.